So that was the first time I was like, what? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be focusing on ethnicity and diversity in the field of nutrition and dietetics. Side. For those of you that do not know, March is National Nutrition Month. March is a big month. So let's get right into it. Diversity in the field of nutrition and dietetics. I know I've stated before in my previous videos that the field is not really that diverse. And something else that I did want to say is the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is doing a phenomenal job in increasing diversity within the field. Now, let me just tell you this lack of diversity is not isolated alone to dietetics. It's in various health professions, business professions. It's just in various professions all around. So I just want to share a little statistics with you. From the Commission of Dietetic Registration, only about 4% of individuals in the field of nutrition and dietetics are males. Another statistic that I wanted to share with you, and I'm gonna be cheating, I have my paper right here in my lap looking at it. Native Americans make up approximately 2%. Blacks or African Americans make up 2.5% of those in the profession of nutrition and dietetics. Asians make up 4%, and those that are biracial is less than 1%. It's 0.4%. So I'm gonna put the link in my description box where I got these statistics from. So you see the field is not really ethnically diverse as well as gender. Gender-wise, it is a pink collar job, for lack of better words, meaning it is predominantly female. So some questions that you guys may have in your head, um, have I ever felt as a black woman isolated in the field? Professionally, no. I have never felt isolated by any of my colleagues. I don't feel that this profession is a prejudiced profession. I don't feel it's a racist profession as well. It is all inclusive. A couple years ago, actually two years ago, our president for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, Dr. Creighton, was actually a woman of color. And a couple years back, we actually had a male president. Now, you know I was excited about that. I remember when I found out that the field of nutrition and dietetics was in need of an increased diversity and increased male, increased, you guys know what I'm saying. They needed more males. So I remember I was either in my junior or my senior year of college and one of my teachers was holding a workshop session on how to apply for your internship. And so one of the males in the class, he was actually a hairdresser, he was a black male at that. And he was actually telling the teacher he wasn't sure if he wanted to make dietetics his profession. And the teacher turned to him and she said to him, are you kidding me? You're male and you're black. The profession wants you. You need to go into this profession. So that was the first time I was like, what? Black and male? The profession is lacking in those things? So that was the first time I've ever known. So that is not to say for those of you that are not black and those of you that are not male that the profession doesn't want you. That is not what I'm saying whatsoever. What I'm saying right now is that the profession is predominantly Caucasian females and it's a pink collar profession. And a lot of guys and a lot of people of a different ethnic background do not readily enter the profession. And you know, there's a lot of theories why that is. I personally think the biggest theory is a lot of people don't even know that the profession exists. As I was saying earlier, I, had n I have never had a problem with being a black female in the profession when it deals with my colleagues, my peer-to-peer -peer interaction, none at all. I would have to say when dealing with clients on the other hand, some of them 
may think that I am an associate who has come to take their diet order for the day. It does not bother me. I just redirect them and say, no, I'm Kim, I'm your dietitian. I'm here to speak to you a little bit about your medical background, look at your labs and discuss them because we just recently took some blood from you and I realized your cholesterol was high or I would say I realized that you were losing weight. So I wanna see how things are going at home. So for those of you out there, I know a lot of you have been asking me questions about the field of nutrition and dietetics as I'm focusing on those that are about to start their internship and have applied for their internship. So I hope this is something that will encourage you if you're in high school or encourage you if you're an undergraduate to focus on the field of nutrition and dietetics. I do thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like as well as subscribe. Remember, turn on your notifications button. And if you have any questions about ethnicity and diversity relating to gender in the field of dietetics, please leave it in the comments section below. Do have a good day. Bye.